Hi folks, Bex again with Ranch Side Chess. I'm going to show you how to crack a whip today. You'll be able to see it in the in the camera or not, but I'm swinging that whip around. We're just going to get these guys right on out. Come on boys, let's go. Let's go boys. I don't push them out too quickly because I don't want them fighting too much. They definitely have their little clicks and some don't like others and all that good stuff. Come on boys. That was a sort of a wimpy crack. It's okay. Come on boys, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, boys. Let's go. All right, now I'll close the gate, and there we go. Whip cracking is a useful tool if you're ever pushing or herding horses or cows. In our case, we're herding horses mostly. It's not something where we are going to hit them with it. We're just looking for a, that loud crack, which is actually a small sonic boom. Because when that, when we're successful with our whip crack, we're um, actually going faster, that whip is going faster than the speed of sound. I'm going to show you quickly um, a method I use when I'm, whether I'm on the ground or whether I'm on a horse, it's a useful way to uh, crack the whip to eliminate my hitting the horse's head, getting the whip under the tail when I fall through or, or hitting him on the back legs, that sort of thing. So what I do and when I teach people, I don't focus too much on too many mechanics just because people to get the general sense of what the motion is and then practice it. Because a lot of times people get so caught up in all the little details that they start swinging around and going all sorts of directions. And uh, Another thing to, to mention, always be safe with it. Definitely wear protective eye gear, uh, wear a hat, anything. If you're at all nervous or even if you're not nervous about hitting yourself in the eyes, um, it's always definitely a good thing to Alright, so when I start using the whip, a lot of times if I'm actually sitting on my horse, I'm going to think about that whip being uh, drifting up to my right side since I am right handed. I'm going to swing it around counterclockwise. I'm going to back up a little bit so I don't have the camera. Swing it around, and when I'm ready to crack that whip, I don't want to swing it around so much that my arm gets tired. But when I'm ready to crack that whip, I'm actually just going to change directions and follow through to the side. You know, obviously I didn't crack it there, it's going way too slow. But I'll uh, get that going for you and show you what it looks like with the crack. So as I went around, thinking about changing directions. Now, in order to keep from hitting myself, I'm actually popping it out sort of at a, a diagonal um, off toward the, my right side from my body. And also that keeps me from cracking toward the you know, really close to the horse's head. Also keeps me, when I go around and when I crack it out diagonally out there, then my tail is flipping around and hitting my horse's butt. Find it doing that. Maybe adjust the, the style a little bit. Obviously practice this a lot on the ground before you ever get on a horse. Because you're going to have to do a lot of desensitizing if the horse is used to it, if they don't like big cracks, that sort of thing. So I'll get you one, you know, more decent one. 